Hello, welcome to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we will discuss on the topic that is Sneha Karpana, medicated oils and ghees. So most popularly used uh, Ayurvedic medicines nowadays, medicated oils and ghees. Definition, the word Sneha, the definition of that word Sneha is Snehanam Sneha Ushanda Madhava Klerakarakam. So the Dravya which does Snehana, Vishandana, Mardavata, Kledana to the body or to the Sharira is that particular Dravya is so called as Sneha. Then Sneha Yoni that is source of the Dravya Sneha. Two sources are there. The first one is Stavara and the second one is Jangama. In Stavara category, Taila will come and whereas in Jangam category, Vritha, Rosa, Majja will come. And then types of Sneha. So there are uh, four types. So those are Sarpis Tailam, Vosa, Majja, Sarva Snehottama, Mataha, Esha, Chayottama, Sarpihi, Samskarasya, Anuvartanam. So in spite of plenty of drugs are there who are having those drugs are having a snehana property but among those four dravyas that is Gruta, Taila, Vasa, Mancha are said to be Sarva, Snehottama drugs and among these four Gruta is said to be superior one because it has a quality that is Samskarasya Anuvartana so it won't leave its own properties and it will adapt the properties of other drugs when it is subjected to various pharmaceutical procedures. Then Sneha Kalpana. So Sneha Kalpana definition is Kalka Chaturguni Krutte Vratamva Tailamiva Chaturguni Dravis Adya Tasya Matra Palurmitam. So as I said earlier, Sneha Kalpana it is a pharmaceutical form of a medicine. Uh, in the Ayurvedic system of uh, medicine where uh, it is prepared in which one part of Asmiha Dravya and one fourth part of Kalka Dravya and four parts of Drava Dravya are being used. The general ratio of uh, Kalka, Sneha, Drava Dravya is one fourth is to one is to four. So if these proportionality is there in the preparation then that particular formulation is so called as Sneha Kalpana and the general dose is one pala so here Kalka Chaturguli Kritya one fourth Kalka Dravya proportionality to that of Sneha and Chaturguli four times to that of Sneha Dravya so now comes Grita Murchana so in various samitas, the basic brahtris or even lagutris, the grita murchana procedure is not explained, but whereas it is first explained in the text by Shajarat Navadi, that too while explaining Jora Chikitsa. So Pathya Dhatri Bivitekir Jalada Rajani Mahatalunga Dravaishya Savira Taihi Supishtaihi Palaka Parimitai Manda Mandana Lena Adja Prastam Vihenam Paricha Palagatam, Murchayet, Vaitaraja, Samastama Dosham, Haraticha, Sahasa, Viryavan, Saukhyadahi. So, it's a basic procedure before to prepare any uh, Gritha formulations. First, Gritha subject, uh, should be subjected to Murchana procedure. And here, Gritha is a Sneha Dravya. So, it's a quantity AB1 part. And as a Kalka Dravya, Haritaki, Bibitaki, Amalaki, Musta, Haridram, Atulunga, Rasa are being used as Kalkadrave and it, all together its quantity it will be one fourth to the Tafa Grita and as a Drava Dravya, Jala will be used. So the quantity of Jala will be four times than that of Grita. So before to prepare any Grita Kalpas, the first that Grita should be subjected to Murchana procedure. Then Thaila Murchana. Thailam Krutva Katahe, Drada Taravimale, Mandamana Mandana Lay Sutta, Thailam Nishpena Bhavam, Gatimiha, Cha Yada, Shaitam Bhavam, Samitya, 
ಮಂಜಿಷ್ಟ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಲೋದ್ರ ಜಲದ ರನಲೈಕೈ ಸ ಅಮಲೈ ಸಾಕ್ಷಪಥೈ ಸೂಚಿ ಪುಷ್ಪಾಂಗ್ರಿ ನಿರುದ ನಿರುಪ ಕಥಿತೈರ್ ಗಂಧಯೋಗ ಜಹಾತಿ ತೈಲಸೆ ಇಂದು ಕಲಾಂಶಕೈ ವಿಕಸ ಭಾಪೋಪಿ ಮೂರ್ಛವಿದು ಯ ಚ ಅನ್ಯ ತ್ರಿಫಲ ಪಯೋದ ರಜನಿ ಹೃವೇರ ರೋದ್ರಾನ್ವಿತ ಸೂಚ್ಯ ಪುಷ್ಪ ವಟಾರೋಹ ನಲಿಕಾಸ್ತಶ್ಚ ಪಾದಾಂಶಕ ದುರ್ಗಂಧ ವಿನಿಹಂತಿ ತೈಲಮರುಣ ಸೌರಭ್ಯ ಮಾಕುರ್ವತೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ತೈಲಮೂರ್ಚನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ದ್ರವ್ಯಸ ತಿಲ ತೈಲ ಕಲ್ಕ ದ್ರವ್ಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ರವ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತಿಲ ತೈಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತಿಲ ತೈಲ ಜಲ ಇಲ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಲೈಟ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಕ ದ್ರವ್ಯಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಕ ದ್ರವ್ಯ uh it differs compared to that of grata murchana and uh, the procedure the first we should heat that thaila only till it becomes fena rahita thailam nishvena bhavam then later on kalkatravas are to be added and the quantity of manjista is 1/16th part to that of thaila thaila then the remaining quantity our uh, remaining drugs kalka uh, dravas quantity will be 1/4 to that of manjista it means 1/64th part of tila tila and drava drava will be jala so in the procedure first only tila it is to be heated till uh, it becomes fein rahita then later on add kalka dravas where the quantity of manjista will be 1/16th part to that of tila tila and uh, the remaining drugs haridra lodra mustra nalika trifala suchi pushpa etc so those quantity it will be 164th part to that of tila tila and four times to that of tila tila jala will be used in the tila murchana procedure then importance of murchana samastama dosham harati cha sahasa virevan saukhya dai so it will remove the ama dosha from the snehana that is it may be grita or may be taila then it improves the potency it increases the potency of sneha dravya that's why murchana is important so certain rules are there which have to be followed in the preparation in the pharmaceutical procedures so that is apa ambu kwartha rasair yatra prutak snehasya sadhanam kalkasyamsham tatradya chaturtha shashta ashtakam so depending on the drava dravya the quantity of kalka dravya it changes in case as a drava dravya ambu that is jala is being mentioned then quantity of kalka dravya will be 1/4 to that of asneha and if a kwata is there then quantity of kalka dravya will be 1/16 to that of asneha dravya and if swarasa is there then the quantity of kalka dravya is 1/8 to that of sneha so that is 1/4 1/6 and 1/8 the rule number 2 is kalka hina sneha pakavidi kalka hina stu ya sneha ha sa sadhya ha kevala dravaihi so in any formulation if a kalka dravya is not mentioned then without adding any kalka dravya only with the help of sneha dravya and drava dravya in the ratio of 1 is to 4 that oil it is to be oil or a ghee it is to be prepared then rule number 3 so that is pushpa kalka sneha paka vidhi so pushpa kalka stu yah sneha stattra toyam chatur gunam sneha sneha shta maushascha pushpa kalka ha prayujyate so in case in any preparation as a kalka if a pushpa is being indicated then the quantity of a drava dravya it will be four time four parts to that of a sneha then as usual sneha will be one part then quantity of kalka dravya will be one eighth to that of sneha dravya then rule number 
4. So here k will have path as s neha path artha manam. If as a drava drava, this path is there. The path he na k will he neva path he yet. Yetro ritaha kochit. Path drava se kalko api tatras neha prayujjate. If only Kvata is mentioned in the preparation of a Sneha, then, so whatever the Kvata is said, the powder or the Kalka of the same Kvata Dravya, it is to be used as a Kalka Dravya, maintaining the general ratio in the preparation of Sneha. Then, rule number 5. So, that is Snehi Panchavida Dravya Sevastar. So, Dravyani Yatra Sneheshu Panchadini Bhuvantihi Tatra Sneha Samanya Hur Yatha Purva Chaturguna. So, in the preparation of any formulation, Sneha Kalpana, if either 5 or more than 5 liquids are there, say like Dukta, Dadi, Pata, Gomutra, Kanchi, etc., different liquids are being mentioned as a drava drava which are either 5 or more than 5 then the quantity of drava drava it differs so according to this rule so each liquid it is to be taken equivalent to that of sneha sneha samanya so individual quantity of that liquid should be equal to that of sneha drava then Sneha is prepared. Then rule number six. So that is Dugdadi Paka Parivasha. Dugde Dadni Rase Takre Kalko De Ashtam Mamshakaha Kalkasya Sammek Pakartha Toya Matra Chaturkuram. So if Dugda Dadi Mamsarasa Takre etc. being mentioned as a Dravadravya in the formulation then the quantity of kalka dravya will be one eighth to that of a sneha then proportionality of a jala again it will be remaining as it is that is four times to that of sneha then rule number seven Kevala Dravyasya Sneha Pakartha Manam Dravena Kevala Neva Sneha Paku Bhavidyati Tattaram Upishtaha Kalkaha Sehat Jalam Chatra Chaturganam If Drava Dravya is not mentioned in the formulation then water will be used as a Drava Dravya and its quantity will be four times to that of Sneha that is Chaturganam then Sneha Siddhi Lakshanas. So, Vartivat Sneha Kalkaha Syata Mulya Vimarditaha Shabda Hino Agni Nikshiptaha Sneha Siddhi Bhavetada Yada Fainud Kame Taile Faina Shantishcha Sarpishi Ganda Varna Rasul Patihi Sneha Siddhi Bhavetada Sharanga Rasamita reference. So, after completion or when Sneha is going to complete, Sneha Kalpana preparation is going to be over. Then if that Kalpana is rolled between fingers, it will attain a shape of Varti. Then when you are going to burn a little quantity of a Sneha, it will burn without producing any sort of sounds. Then absence and presence of a Fena that is if Taila is being prepared, then at the end of the preparation, presence of Fena will be there and in case of Dritha preparation, absence of Fena, that is foam, will be there in the preparations. Then smell and color of the ingredients. So what are the ingredients which are being used in the preparation? The color and smell of those ingredients will be observed at the end of Sneha Kalpana. If these lakshanas are there, then only it will be confirmed that Sneha is completely prepared and uh, the continuous heating process it is to be stopped and it is to be filtered. 
then Sneha Paka. So based on Paka Vidhi, uh, different types of Snehas are there. Sneha Paka Stridha Prokta Brudu Madhyaha Kharastata Ishat Rasa Kalkastu Sneha Paka Brudu Bhavit Madhyama Paka Sya Siddhishcha Kalke Nirasa Kovale Ishat Katina Kalkascha Sneha Paka Bhavit Kharaha Tadurdva Dagda Paka Ha Sad Daha Nishprayojanaha Ama Pakascha Nirviria Vanihi Mandakaro Guru. So the first Paka is said to be Budu Paka. So in case of Budu Paka, the Kalka Dravya it contains a little quantity of Drava Dravya, Ishat Raza Kalkastu. Then in the second Paka it will be Madhyama Paka. So it is said to be perfect food. And uh, Nirasa Komale, it means the Kalka, it won't contain any sort of Drava Dravya. The next one is Khara Paka. So, in this type of a Sneha, Ishat Kathina. So, the Kalka Dravya, it will be a little bit hard. And one more Paka is there, that is Dagda Paka. So, in case of Dagda Paka, so that sneha it will be said to be nishprayojaka so dagda paka sneha should not be used for any type of or any procedures or as a medicine in the treatment of various diseases and apart from that one more uh, sneha paka is there that is ama paka and it is said to be nirvirya it don't contain any sort of medicated properties and it does Agni Mandyatva. So, based on Paka conditions, though it is mentioned Trivida Prokta three times, but there are five types of Pakas are there Budu Paka, Madhyama Paka, Kara Paka, Dagda Paka, and finally Ama Paka. So, use of different Paka Sneha Kalpas. Nasyarka Sat Budu Paku. Madhyamaha Sarva Karmasu Abdangartha Khara Prokta Yunja Deva Yathochitam So Mrudu Paka quality or Mrudu Paka Sneha Kalpana it is to be used for Nasya Karma Then Madhyama Paka Sneha it is to be used for all type of therapeutic procedures Sarva Karmasu then Kharapaka Sneha it is to be used for Abhanga Artha Abhanga Pars so thank you for watching the video and kindly subscribe the video